Hey folks, this is John Alexander. This is a WordWise devotion. We're talking again about godly biblical prosperity. And so in this series of teachings, I want to talk to you about enduring prosperity. Not the type of prosperity that lasts a few weeks, few months, and even a few years and then departs because of troubles that come in your life. I'm telling you there is a scriptural reference whereby you can have prosperity that endures the length of your life. So let's take a text this morning from first or go, let's go to Second Chronicles chapter 26. Second Chronicles 26 beginning in verse 1. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father Amaziah. And he built Eloth and restored it to Judah after that the king slept with his fathers. Sixteen years old was Uzziah when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem fifty-two years. His mother's name also was Jechaliah of Jerusalem. He did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah did. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And verse 5 says, As long as he sought the Lord, God caused him to prosper. Now there's an inference there. What he's inferring is that as long as he sought the Lord, God caused him to prosper. But as soon as he quit seeking the Lord, he cut off his life force from God where his prosperity came from in the first place. Now that's a real interesting insight. It's very simple, but it I have seen over the years and even in my own life when I would begin to flatline in my seeking of the Lord. My prosperity, personal prosperity and personal peace would diminish in almost in just right across the board, like just in, in, uh, in direct proportion to whether I sought Him or didn't. You, you leave your Bible laying flat for six months and you'll go to having troubles that you never expected. Seeking the Lord regularly on an ongoing regular basis, not a lot of, you don't have to read a hundred chapters a day. Just keep your heart towards Him. The old saying is, be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. And I want to add, be quick to repent and keep your heart towards the Lord. And as long as you seek the Lord, He will cause you to prosper. Proverbs chapter 8 speaks of enduring riches and righteousness. You know, if you just read the Bible in a surface way, just any surface kind of way, you'll find that you'll see yourself prosperous. Third John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. And while I'm talking about that, I might add that I believe that good health is such a prosperous thing. I think it is the most valuable yet most unappreciated commodity in anyone's life. Always keep your your health in good shape. Do the best you can do to keep your health up because you can be flat, broke, and have good health and you'll come right back up on top of prosperity. Ask Sam Walton. He'll tell you he was the wealthiest man in the world at the time that he had a disease that he couldn't kick and couldn't get rid of. Let's keep our health. That is prosperity number one. And as long as you seek the Lord, God will cause you to prosper. God bless you. In the heartland, good things come to those who sow. Who lay their plow down long enough to allow the seed to grow. And rest upon the promise of the gentle loving hand. Oh, 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 oh the God of the heartland.